Hello and welcome to the ChessCreator.com YouTube video channel. In today's video I'm pleased to continue with my series of lectures on the London system. Now instead of looking at this from White's perspective you'll notice that the screen in front of you is positioned as if we the viewers are playing black. The reason for this is in today's video I'm going to present the London system played with black one tempo down basically in a colours reversed situation. For those of you interested in the correct name for this, I believe it's called the Baltic Defence. Basically black plays d5 followed by bishop f5 instead of d4 bishop f4. This combination of moves can also be seen in a variation of the Slav called the Czech Slav. That's Czech C-Z-E-C-H. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use a recent game where white plays very passively and very poorly. So whilst the game is not instructive in terms of white's playing optimum moves or playing correctly against the London system with colours reversed. What this video is supposed to do is just really raise the concept of playing the London system in response to d4 openings. So the game began as follows and here white played very passively with d3. I responded d5 e3, c6. And here I'm basically waiting to see what white's doing. And here they're looking to fianchetto the light square bishop. So here I decide to play the London system in reverse, uh, just as something different. Um, this is the first time I've ever tried it. And it begins with bishop f5. And here white plays another passive move. Now one of the problems people uh, raise when playing colours reversed openings is obviously white does have first move advantage. And if you're playing at a higher level, either online or perhaps at the higher end of club tournament standards, then this concept of tempo and a one move advantage becomes critical. The higher you get and the stronger you get the more important it is to make that first move count. But if you're playing at a modest level uh, perhaps online or at the lower end of club tournaments very often white will play unnecessary moves as we've seen here a3, h3 etc and in these kind of situations the tempo is actually lost and white loses first move advantage. So anyway this game continues knight f6 and as you can start to see if you've watched the earlier videos on the London system you can see here that instead of bishop f4 I've played bishop f5 and instead of knight f3 I've played knight f6. You can also see in this particular game I have a lead in development and as I said white plays plays pretty poorly in this game. This game continues knight c3 h6 and again here I'm playing h6 instead of h3 to give the light square bishop a retreat so that I can maintain it on this diagonal. e6, h3 and once again white does nothing to accelerate their development. Uh, it's another unnecessary poor move. Knight bd7, h4. Uh, at this stage I have absolutely no idea what white's doing um, but it's useful for the purposes of choosing this game because it allows me by playing bishop d6 to really get the classic London system set up 
but with colours reversed. As I said earlier, in most games, if you're playing this one tempo down, you are unlikely to get to this position. Uh, most people will be playing some kind of Queen's Gambit line, perhaps, with, with D4, C4. and uh, But anyway, for the purposes of, of illustrating the concept of playing the London system with black, um, this game is very useful. So this game continues with another pointless move, g4, and I retreat the bishop to h7, bishop g2, queen c7. And here, as you've seen in my earlier London system videos, this time black has the ability to castle queenside, to castle kingside, or not to castle at all. This game continued with queen e2, b5. I play b5 just to discourage white from castling long. Uh, they've made lots of uh, pointless pawn movements on the king side, so castling king side would be unwise. So this game continued with b4, and I play a5 just really starting to rip open some lines. This game continued with b takes a5, rook takes a5, and at this point you can see that, that a3 is uh, hanging and there's nothing that can be done to protect this pawn. It's being attacked twice. So for some bizarre reason, oh, they they retreated the knight to give a discovered attack on the rook. But after rook takes a3, rook takes a3, bishop takes a3, I'm a pawn up, and white's position just looks horrible. This game continues with knight f3, and by playing that, they uh, sorry. By playing that, g4 is hanging. So knight takes g4, and again they try this um, primitive discovered attack by playing by playing knight h2. Uh, but unfortunately, there are now two pieces uh, attacking this knight on h2. And at this point, the game really finishes very quickly. White just completely falls apart. So knight takes h2. They obviously don't see that this piece is protected by the queen uh, because they recapture, allowing me to to eat the rook. And then, oops, sorry. And then d4 just allows me to take the bishop as well. And at this point, they resign. So, as I say, the game is not particularly instructive in terms of uh, you're very unlikely to play too many opponents that um, play so poorly as white. But I think it's useful to illustrate that with very little preparation, it's possible to uh, play the London system with black in a colours reversed way. Um, and so if you've watched the earlier five videos, then hopefully it will be possible just to play it uh, with colours reversed, kind of like a left-handed London system, if you will. Um, and hopefully it's an interesting thing for you to try. Uh, if you do think it's interesting and give it a go, um, please feel free to send me the PGNs. Uh, win, lose or draw. I'm always interested in seeing uh, people's games um, and I hope it gives you something interesting to think about. Um, thanks very much for your time and I look forward to talking to you soon.